Hello, my name is Ivona and welcome to my YouTube channel Ivy Moves. Today we're going to be talking about shoulders and posture. It's very normal in our daily life and I don't mean only modern daily life, I think just in general humans have spent much more time slouching forward than opening back. So even though our shoulder joint has a great possibility to, to rotate, to move, to do all these complex moves, because we're not using it, because we're not training it to its full capacity, it's normal that the ligaments and tendons around it get stiffer in a way that they are no longer able to, to bring the joint into that extension because the bone itself that moves like that can do it, but the ligaments that are securing the joint to the bone are like, this is too much for us. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a couple of very simple exercises that you can do every day to start conditioning the ligaments and the tendons around your shoulders so they can feel more free range of motion. So we're going to need any type of belt, a strap, anything long enough that when you grab it above your arms it's bigger than your shoulder, it's wider than your shoulder distance and maybe two blocks or just any table cabinet surface where we can use to, to stretch our arms. So let's begin. Let's start warming up into the shoulders, grabbing the strap into very, very generous width. Our wrists are straight. And let's start pulsing back gently, but let's try not try to do this, but tuck the pelvis in, tuck the tailbone in, and just start moving the shoulders back. We're warming up the muscles, the ligaments, and we're telling them we're safe. We're choosing that it's volunteer, and we're also conditioning that it's not scary, and they can do it. So go as slow or as fast as you need to. Breathe deep. It's really the breath that that dictates how we're going to feel, are we going to be stressed and scared, are we going to be relaxed. A couple more, great, and release. Now this exercise you can also do it without your, the strap, and it's going to look like that, or like that. Let's do a couple of them, just to feel the difference in, in, in how it feels. Um, here we're working also onto the fascia. Try again not to use the momentum of the lower back, but keep the hips fixed and just start pulsing with the arms back. We're working here on the whole chain of our arms, of our side body, so it's just a different type of work. There is no better worse. Let's open the sides, start pushing them back. Whew, my arms are now getting warm. A couple more. Pulse, 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 pulse. Awesome. Let them go. Now we're going to take the strap into our right arm. I'm going to um, turn my back towards you so you can see what's happening. And we're sending our right elbow towards the sky and we're trying to imagine that with the right arm we're trying to touch here. Like, I don't want you to be here. I'd rather have you here but keeping the spine straight, the head straight and the elbow as far as it can go. So if you're here, you can already just start like taking the strap and gently pushing the elbow up. If you're here and you can grab the elbow with your left hand, you can start pulling the elbow back, but again, not arching the lower back, tuck it in and isolate the movement. Let's breathe deep. Go as slow or as fast as you need to, but I definitely always recommend going slower than faster. I'm just gonna turn so you can see the side. Perfect. And now that left arm goes, grabs the strap from the back, maybe start pulling back a little bit more. Three, two, one, release. And now with the right arm, we're gonna extend a little bit. Bring that left hand trying to come into between oh, my strap, uh, into between the space of the shoulder blades, tucking the tailbone in and start pulling the left 
arm behind our back with the help of the right arm. And you're probably feeling the stretch into the front side of your left shoulder. Here, we're really, really gently opening the possibilities of our, of our joint. Breathing deep and three, two, one. And now let's try to close the distance, grabbing the strap to the most comfortable length, tucking the tailbone in and trying to spread the elbows wider away from each other and I said as I said I'd rather have you here but straight and pushing the elbows back than here this is it's just you're not doing much so keep the elbows straight up far the spine is nice and long and we're holding for three two one oof great shake it out let's do the other side Grabbing the strap into our left palm. Bringing the elbow towards the sky. Maybe we're here and we're pulling, ah, oh, where's the strap? Here. And we're pulling the elbow. Um, we're pulling the hand down and the elbow towards the sky. Or we can grab the elbow with our right hand and start pulsing, bringing it behind our back. The dynamic stretch here, the reason why we're doing the pulsing is that we, we exert some pressure onto, onto the ligaments, onto the muscles there, and then we release. So the repetitive movement, it's short enough to not feel like a threat to, to our body, and repetitive enough that when you do it enough times, you're like, okay, that's familiar. That's familiar, I can do it. Great, now reach with the right hand behind the back, grab the strap, and pull down with the right arm, stretching into new depths. Maybe you're feeling the blood rushing there. I definitely am letting go and come with the extending the left arm towards the sky, bring the right hand behind us and start pulling it behind us with the left arm to, uh, upward. Now, there is always going to be a difference between left and right. It's inevitable. Uh, one side is always dominant. For most of us, it's the right side. Uh, but it's always going to be different. It's the norm, not the exception. That the right feels more open or stiff. And for me, the right side is definitely more closed. And I always struggle putting that right palm behind my shoulder blades. Okay, now let's shorten the distance and get into the full expression of the pose. The spine is straight, long, the head is up. The uh, elbows are wide like wings away from each other. Breathing deep, maybe climbing, inching a little bit more onto that strap, getting closer. Three, two, and one, release. Oof. Oof. Okay, we're going to knead the strap a little bit later. For now, put it on the side. And we're going to grab either our blocks or move to a table that has a surface or we can put our palms. And it's going to look very much like a poppy pose if you're familiar with yoga, or just um, we're standing far enough from that surface or the blocks in order for our whole body to sink down. If we're on our mat, we don't want our knees under our chest because it really blocks the expression of how far we can actually go with this chest. So we walk far back and we let our chest sink down. Our palms are really pushing into the surface. Fingers are spread super wide and we kind of relax here. We can also be dynamic if you would like, if you feel that feels good into your body. I personally like it static, just breathing deep into the places. I'm feeling the opening of new places that have been stiff for years and now breath by breath we send them fresh oxygen, fresh energy, rejuvenating and come back up. Of course you can stay for as long as you would like. I would just like to show you our next move again surface or the blocks placing our elbows on the blocks or surface and doing the same thing this time our palms are touching each other and we're trying to send the thumbs towards the back of our neck letting our chest sink 
and letting gravity do the work here really we're almost passive almost surrendering even though <laughs> there's nothing that feels passive about this pose i'm sweating but as we have our elbows elevated and our the weight of our chest pushing down we really use our body weight and the gravity to create that length that opposite effect opposite forces for lengthening and slowly come back up or stay as long as you want and now putting the blocks to the side i would like us to try something let's get the strap again put it above our hand head rather see how far we can go this time with it and maybe just maybe without arching the lower back keeping it tucked we're able to go back further and further and maybe even make a full circle. I just wanted you to try this exercise in the beginning and the end of your practice and see how the shoulder joint feels at this moment. These are just a couple of exercises you can do to open up the shoulders. As I said in the beginning of the video, the shoulder joint is very complex and there's plenty of other moves like here, here, behind the sideways front that the joint goes. These are just counter balances to all the slouching that we do. So they train the shoulder joint to go into a different than its normal direction, but they are by no means gonna fix your injuries. Consult with your doctor before that. They do not exhaust all the possibilities in which you can move your shoulder. So always remain open, attentive and curious. And they are not the only exercises you can use. These are just my suggestions. I hope you enjoyed them and let me know how it felt in the comments below. I'll see you soon.